Mike, uh, a couple of weeks ago we became aware of an interesting program by which we can take the chores and the miasma and the confusion of maintaining our airplanes and basically dump it on somebody else. Tell us all about SAM. That's about right. Well, this is a, a brand new program that, that I have been planning and scheming for about four years on now. Uh, and we finally uh, opened our doors the day after Memorial Day. So uh, I guess we've, only, we've been doing it about six weeks now. And it's uh, been going uh, better than I expected. And basically the idea is that, um, as you know, Jim, I'm sure that for the last uh, four years I've been going around the country uh, doing uh, weekend courses for aircraft owners to teach them how to manage the maintenance of their aircraft to try to, you know, to get better maintenance and to spend less money doing it. The courses have been very well received. I've put about a thousand owners through the, through the classes in the last four years. Uh, so I guess I only have 299,000 more owners to go. But what I found in the last four years doing this is that although the training has been spectacularly effective for some owners, for on other owners, um, the training them didn't seem to be quite enough because um, many aircraft owners are very, very busy. They're, they're, they're CEOs of businesses or uh, they're raising big families and they simply don't have time to, to devote the necessary time to, to managing their maintenance properly. And it's not an easy job to do it right. Uh, sometimes mechanics don't make it particularly easy to tell them what to do because <laughs> they're kind of used to calling the shots. So uh, the idea came to me that maybe instead of teaching owners how to do this, maybe we ought to offer to do it for them, at least for the owners that, that, that would really rather dump it on someone else. And so I put together a, a business plan and started calling the very, very best uh, maintenance people that I know. And since I've been involved in this end of the business for uh, close to 20 years now, and uh, been a tech rep for the Cessna Pilots Association for about 16 years and in more recent years have been doing tech rep work for the Bonanza Society and for the Cirrus Owners and Pilots Association. Um, I know a lot of, of maintenance people and I know some really, really good ones. And I called them and I presented this idea to them and I said, how would you like to, to, to help aircraft owners do this job? and uh, all of them said yes. <laughs> You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. We decided to uh, do this on a fixed price annual basis. So we charge a, a single fixed price per year, which varies with the complexity of the aircraft. For a fixed gear legacy single, like a, say a Cessna 182 or a Cessna 206 or a, something like that, um, uh, it's $500 for um, uh, technically advanced singles or retractables, uh, Bonanzas, uh, Cirruses, uh, uh, Columbias, uh, I guess they're Cessnas now, that sort of thing. Uh, it's $750 a year. For a piston twin, it's 1000 And the rate structure goes up uh, up to, to, uh, to very light jets. And, but it's a, fixed, it's a fixed annual fee. We manage the maintenance for 12 months, including an annual inspection and anything else that happens. If the owner has mechanical problems on the road, um, they just call their SAM account manager and say, I have a problem. And we say, fine, go enjoy the fishing and we'll take care of it. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I say that because we had a, an owner of, with a, of a T210 last Saturday uh, that uh, was headed into Missoula, Montana on a fishing trip and he had a complete electrical system failure. So he lands at Missoula with a green light and he calls us up and said, I have a problem. And we said, fine, go fish. And, you know, we took care of it. And when he was done fishing, came back and his airplane was, was fixed and he flew it home. 
And you know, just the peace of mind for that airplane, that's a $750 a year airplane. And our commitment to, uh, to our customers is that we will save them at least as much as our management fee in reduced parts and labor. Uh, so that on balance, uh, this program isn't going to cost them money, it's actually going to save them money. What I didn't realize until we got started is just how much we we're going to save them. <laughs> um, for example, in a two-week period, we did four annual inspections on uh, four Cirrus SR-22s. These were four airplanes located in different parts of the country, four different Cirrus service centers. They all happened to be 2003 models, so they were all in for their five-year annuals. And if you look in the Cirrus service manual, there's a lot of five-year items in there. So the five-year annual historically is a fairly expensive annual. Each of the service centers estimated the annual at about $10,000. And when the annuals were done and the invoices came in, the highest price one came in at $5,200. The lowest price one came in at $2,500. And the other two came in right around $4,000. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. We decided to do this on a flat rate basis because, um, you know, one of the problems in maintenance is that owners tend to, sus tend to be suspicious of the motives of the shops that they hire. And in some cases, uh, that suspicion is, is warranted. I mean, there, there's kind of a, a conflict of interest in the process that we have. You, you go to a shop, and, and there's an IA who inspects your airplane and tells you what's wrong with it. And then that shop goes and fixes the stuff that he found that was wrong with it and makes a profit on the stuff that they fixed. So it's really hard for an owner not to think, you know, it's something fishy about this. The, the guy who's inspecting it has an incentive to find as much wrong as he possibly can. Uh, and that really is a problem in, in our system. In most areas of aviation other than, you know, the kind of the low-end owner-flown GA, um, inspectors and mechanics aren't even allowed to talk to one another. You know, there, there's a big brick wall and, and the inspectors report to different people than the mechanics do. Uh, and there's some checks and balances in the system. But at the low end of the aviation food chain where most of us live, um, we are dealing with this creature called an A&P slant IA who, who frequently wears both hats. And if you think about it, there's something uh, fundamentally corrupt about the inspector and the mechanic being the same person. So one of the things that we bring to this is, is sort of checks and balances because th since the owner is paying us a flat management fee, he knows we have no incentive to, 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 uh, uh, to, to find more things wrong with his airplane than, than, than necessary. In fact, our incentive is the other. We, we, we want to save him as much money as possible so he'll continue to you know, to, uh, to, to, be one, to be a client. And um, so that's, that's why we decided to do it on a, on a fixed fee. Other, and also, owners like predictability. And this is, you know, totally predictable. There's no surprises as far as we're concerned. They know exactly what they're paying for for a year.